everybody to today's Kickstart video. This is a special stretching session that we've put together for your TFL glute knee, both which insert into your IT band. So this combo is going to be a great one to do if you've had issues in that area or after a long repetitive endurance session. So think cycling or running, that kind of thing. All you're gonna need is yourself, and a lot of these movements are gonna take a lot of explanation and a lot of you searching for different feelings or different movements. So this is all gonna be all about patience, and if you're not particularly tight in these areas, you might not feel this a whole bunch, but I want you to take these stretches, these mobility exercises, store them in the back of your brain so you can pull them out when you need them. To begin today, all you're gonna need is yourself, and we'll be out of here in six minutes or less. So what I'm going to get you to do is take the leg, one of your legs, and you're going to step back in line with your front foot. Then you're going to point that foot out 45 degrees away. And then we're going to move forward on this leg. What this should do for you is give you a stretch in here. That's what we're looking for. Now, this takes some movement, right? Because I could easily go around this stretch, but I'm going to move into it, both hips still pointing forward. And if I want to in increase that, I can even reach up and away just a little bit. And we're going to hold this for 20 seconds, really looking for a stretch through this part of our body. If we find that stretch, we know we're doing it. Good. And now we're going to repeat that on side number two. So I will do it pointing this way this time for you guys, actually. So one foot goes back in line with or even a little past that other foot. And then I'm going to turn it out to the side 45 degrees and move forward onto this front leg until I feel a stretch through the back here. Awesome. And then if I want to intensify, I can lift that arm and reach high towards the ceiling. Moving in different directions here will change where you feel that stretch. So try and get it to the point where it's on the outside of this hip in this exact zone. We're gonna hang out here. Three, two, and one. Awesome, next thing we're gonna do is bring it down to the mat. And I'll probably cut in an overview shot for you guys here as well. But what I want you to do is you're going to take one foot, cross the ankle over the other knee, and then this is where it gets fun. Both of those knees are now going to head towards the ground. And you're going to get into a spot where you feel a bit of a stretch. Now we're going to alternate. To start with, I want that top ankle or foot to be pressing into the bottom knee. And we're going to hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Now I want this bottom knee to press into the top foot. And we're going to do that for five, four, three, two, one. Good. We'll go back the other way. Five, four, three, two, one. And back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. And let's switch sides. So one foot goes down on the ground, cross that other ankle. Both knees are going to head to the ground. And you'll have to walk this foot over to make that doable. Then we're going to push our bottom knee into our top foot for five, four, three, two, one. And then top ankle into bottom knee. Five, four, three, two, one. And back up. Five, four, three, two, one, and back down. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Now this next one you can either do lying down or you can do it standing up against a wall. But all I want you to do is put your hands onto your pelvis and you're going to tilt your pelvis back until your low back touches the ground and then come back to neutral. If we can't get our low back all the way to the ground in this position with our legs out, that's a sign that there's some tightness through the hips. Now that could either be TFL tightness, but it can also um, have to do with your hip flexors as well. So it's hard to diagnose it with just one movement. 
However, actively trying to tilt that pelvis backwards repeatedly is going to help with this issue for sure. Try not to use your quads too much to help or your hip flexors exposed when you're doing this movement. Good. And now we're going to go into a four by four kneeling stretch and also an activation as well. So, what I'll get you to do, come on to all fours. And we're going to mimic that stretch that we did standing, but we're going to do it in a kneeling position now. So, using your butt, you're going to point one foot straight behind you. Then you're going to rotate it out. So you're pointing with that foot 45 degrees away from you. And you're going to bring that leg as far as you can across the body. Now, something to remember, and I actually let it go a little bit, is you don't want your hips to move a lot in this movement. So hips both point straight at the ground, hip bones rather, and then we're going to move across. We should get some tension um, or heat or stretch on the outside of this leg, the leg with the straight knee. And we're going to hold that, and then we will move to the other side. So leg goes straight out, we point the toe outwards, bring it across the body, feel that stretch to the outside of the hip, and if we don't have that stretch, check our pelvis position and make sure we're in the right zone there. And we're holding this for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now I'm going to get you to bring your knees to the outsides of your mat, feet together, and we are just going to bring ourselves into child's pose and relax here for a moment. Wonderful. So whether you really felt these stretches today or whether instead you're just going to remember them and save them for a post-running or post-cycling session, I hope that you learned something and that the rest of your day is an absolutely wilder one.